What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to how diverse is Malaysia. So this video is really short. I found it in our comments section and I figured, why not? Let's take a look because there's here in the U.S. It, we're, I don't know if anybody is like this country is made of mutts. Yeah. Just, like we could guess how many countries your bloodline comes from and how many mine come from. Right. I did one of those uh, DNA tests and realistically, yes, I had three big ones, but after that I had like another 20. Yeah, I think my, uh, just off at the top of my head, I can think of at least four uh, major yeah. places that, that my bloodline comes from. Yeah, so uh, we're all mutts here yeah. in the US. We've got a bunch of, uh, bunch of different you know, cultures and uh, because we're not one culture, we're not a culture. Right. I don't think the U.S. is an actual culture. I think we are a group of people with multiple cultures, right? Very diverse. brought together. Yeah. yeah, because like we were first not necessarily discovered, but a, a lot of stuff has been. I mean, we have the Native Americans or the Native Indians; they actually prefer to be called. Then we had. Uh, the Spanish come over, then we had the British come over, then we had the French come over, then we had, I mean, it was literally one after the other after the other. And right. then people have moved here over the last couple hundred years from India, Asia, Middle East, Africa. Of course, we brought over Africans. We're not going to get into that whole mess. But, and they've fallen in love with people that are not of their nationality and, or original nationality, and you get, beautiful mixed babies that are half white half black half asian half black half you know it's just it's super awesome that's what i love about this country right uh guys before we hop into this video if you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a like it definitely helps us get this video out to more people also if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon that way you guys are informed on the next videos we post and if you guys would like to help support the channel even more you can click the join button down below let's check this out let's do it we love him too. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most multicultural, multi ethnic, and multi religious countries in the world. And I'm thrilled to be back for a third visit. I'm a Nonia, Chinese, Siamese, so and adopted Kalabit. I'm Chinese, and I'm Whoa. Malaysian. Go back to her. Third visit. I'm a Nonia, Chinese. What is Nayonia? Chinese, Siamese, and adopted Kelebit. I don't know what Kelebit is either. Mm -mm. Yeah, let us know. I wonder the if these are native. Possibly. That's really cool. She's Siamese really pretty and too. I'm adopted Kelebit. I'm Chindian and I'm Malaysian. I'm a Thai Malay Malaysian. Chindian. I'm a oh, Malay, Chinese Mama, Indian. Chinese and a Malaysian. We are Kadazan. We are Eurasian. My dad is Malay and my mom is Chinese. I'm Malay and Indian. I'm a Chinese but culturally Filipino. Out of the 32 mm. million people living in this nation, only about half of them can call themselves ethnic Malays. 23% or 8 million people are ethnic Chinese. 7% are ethnic Indians. And the rest That's of such them a different are just voice. <laughs> the official religion is Islam, attracting 61% of the population. In fact, ethnic Malays are required to be Muslim by law. The next wow. biggest religion is Buddhism at 20%. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Christianity at 10% and Hinduism at 6%. This incredible diversity of Malaysia's people is reflected in its cuisine, language, and economy. That's got to be the best part about it. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Food. <laughs> and that's the that, same for here. That's yeah. what I love about it. We have so many different cuisines. And I know when we go there, we're going to be in heaven. Oh, yeah. The beautiful scenery, the beautiful people, the beautiful people, and the beautiful food. Yeah. I'm so excited. When looking at its food, Malaysia truly has one of the world's best. My name is Ahmad, and my favorite thing about KL is the food. A fusion of yes, Indian dude. Malay, Chinese, Indonesian, and Indian with lighter touches of Dutch and British, its former rulers for 200 plus years. My favorite three dishes in Malaysia are nasi lemak, laksa, and banana leaf. Let's talk. Nasi lemak, laksa, those are two of my favorite. Yeah, those are both really good. Uh, banana leaf. Let's see. My favorite three dishes in Malaysia are nasi lemak, laksa, and banana Okay, so it's... it's uh, we got the sambal rice. It's kind of like 
um, not well, do you the eat the banana mistaken. leaf? No. Okay. No, it gets wrapped up in there, I believe. I could probably... I mean, they might steam it to the point where you can actually eat it. I might be completely wrong, but... Yeah, let us know. Yeah. I'm curious about that dish. Banana leaf. Let's talk about language. Most people here know at least three languages fluently. That's like crazy. We can choose certain words. Hey, macha, you want makan here or tapau? That sentence means, do you want to eat here or take out? But it has words from four languages. Tamil, huh. English, Malay, and Chinese. But if you are traveling to Malaysia, you won't have to worry about learning any new languages because almost everyone here speaks fluent English. Almost as good as Yay. the Philippines. I am always very, very impressed. From an economic from an economic standpoint, the bustling capital of Kuala Lumpur is one of Asia's fastest growing business hubs Such a beautiful and its skyline city. is dominated by the tallest twin buildings in the world. The Pajanas Tower. Do you know how tall they are? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> but once you escape the city life, you'll quickly enter a humble, relaxing, and contrasting lifestyle. That is why I call this is why I call Malaysia! And I am truly in love with this place. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel... He makes I such, love Drew Binsky. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah, his videos are amazing. And they always make you feel warm inside. Sometimes it... and I, Usually, yes. But sometimes he points out the negatives. Yeah. Like things that need to be fixed in the country. And it's never about the people. It's about the, the government. And I've right. never compared the human the human element of the people in a country to the government right because there's many times in my country that i don't agree with the government mm -hmm. but they represent the country as a whole unfortunately when it comes right. to news and stuff so uh and that's why i think a lot of people think of americans are idiots or d-bags or whatever the case may be because our government represents us and that's yeah. unfortunate but guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see our future videos hit the subscribe button and then join I and the bell know, notification. I just know that you sounded so passionate about the like button. Guys. Guys, hit that come like on. button. You need to hit that come like on. button. Come on. And while you're down there, hit the come subscribe on. button and hit the bell notification. Come on. Please. Come on. There are starving kittens. Come on. Somewhere in the world. Somewhere. And I don't think this will help them. And then what you can do is join our members program by hitting the join button. Or just click the subscribe button. Come on. Come on. And with that being said. My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.